Hi guys, welcome to JIK 224 Ikulia series. I'm Dr. Sumia Sabah and this is the 10th video covering chapter 2 which is Stereoisomers, Enantiomer, Diastromers and Mesocompound. So you have looked at all these terms throughout the previous videos. So in this video is a recap and how to differentiate between all these types of stereoisomers. So upon completion of this topic, you should be able to draw all the stereoisomers of a given structure and identify the relationship between the stereoisomers. This diagram shows brief summary of what is isomers. So isomers are compound with the same molecular formula. When you have a compound, see whether they have similar molecular formula or not. And then from there you look at is the compound have same connectivity or different connectivity. If they have different connectivity then it is a constitutional isomers. If the compound have same connectivity then it will be a stereoisomers. And then from there you see whether the stereoisomers have chiral centers or not. If it doesn't have any chiral center, then it will be a geometric isomer. In this case, it is either C strands or EZ isomer. And it can also be called as diastromers. If it has a chiral center, if it only have one chiral center, then it is an enantiomer. If, if it has more than one chiral center, it can be either chiral or archival. An archival can be a meso compound. This is when you have an internal plane of symmetry. From the chiral compound, you have to look at whether we have a non superimposable mirror images or non superimposable non mirror images. If it has a mirror images to each other, then the compound is an enantiomer. If it has non mirror images of each other then it is a diastromer so you should be able to distinguish between constitutional isomers geometric isomers meso compound diastromers and enantiomer let's recap what we have learned so far enantiomer is a stereo isomers that are non superimposable mirror images it has opposite configuration at all chiral centers. For example here, compound A and B is a mirror images of each other. It has a non superimposable mirror images. So this is a pair of enantiomer. And it has opposite configuration at all chiral centers. Diastromers, on the other hand, is stereoisomers that are non superimposable, non mirror images. It has opposite configuration at some but not all chiral centers. For example, these two compounds. We could see that there is three chiral centers in this compound, and this is, is non superimposable, non mirror images. Why? Because a carbon chiral 2 and 3, he has a similar configuration as its mirror images. So, they are same configuration and only at carbon chiral number 1, the configuration is different. So, they are a pair of diastromers. A meso compound on the other hand is an archival compound that contains two or more chirality centers. It contains a plane of symmetry. So for example, this compound, it has two chiral centers and has an internal plane of symmetry in the middle of the compound. So this is a meso compound. The same compounds on the other hand have same molecular formula and same bonding pattern and all sets of equivalent asymmetric carbons will have the same configuration. So for example, A and B here, the compound, if we rotate the compound, 
you will see that you have an identical to compound A. So you can rotate, rotate this compound to 180 degree. You will see that first the functional group is the bones are at the back, at your back. But when you rotate 180 degree, you will see that both of the structure, uh, functional group here will be facing towards you. And when you rotate the compound, you will see that you have an exactly similar compound to compound A. So this table summarizes the difference between enantiomer, diastreomers, meso compound, and same compound. So enantiomer, it has all steroid centers inverted or have different configuration, opposite configuration. It has mirror images and the mirror images are non-superimposable and they are also optically active. For diastromers, some but not all stereo centers inverted. So some but not all stereo centers have opposite configuration. So there are non-mirror images and non-superimposable images, but they are optically active. A meso compound, on the other hand, have equal and opposite stereo centers. So they have plane of symmetry that can separate these two into two identical half. They, are, they can have mirror images, but however, they have a superimposable image and they are not optically active because they are archival. The same compound have identical stereo centers. They have non mirror images and are super impossible, but they can be optically active. Let's look at this example. How is each compound related to the simple sugar D erythrose? Is it an enantiomer? diastromers or identical. So here we have a D estrose. Let's compare uh, this structure to the structure A. For A, there are actually a pairs of diastromers. Why? When we rotate the functional group at your right, this hydroxyl group going downwards, this hydroxyl group is going up together with the hydrogen, you will see that actually they have similar configuration at your right here. When you rotate this functional group here, you will see that it has similar configuration here. For B, what you have to do is that you have to flip the compound and then rotate. So when you do this, you will see that this is actually are identical to each other. When you flip the compound, so this functional group, all these three functional group will be at your left and then you have to rotate the functional groups and then when you rotate, you will see that actually you have similar compound. For C on the other hand, is actually a pair of enantiomer. In this case, what you do is that if you place a mirror here, and you flip the compound, flip the compound, you will see that you have a mirror image of each other. But for D, it is a pair of diastromers. Here you can easily see that uh, you have similar configuration at your left with the D atrosos here. Only different configuration at your right. For example number two, draw all possible stereoisomers for each cycloalkane, label pairs of enantiomer and diastromers, and label also any meso compound. So we have here three types of cycloalkane. So for A here, you will see that there is two possible chirality centers. There are two chirality centers, so there are four possible stereoisomers. But compound A and its mirror image is actually identical. So this is cis isomer. So uh, they are identical. We can place a plane of symmetry in the middle of the compound. So they are meso compound. And then here we have the trans isomer. So they are actually enantiomer to each other. So B and C is a pairs of enantiomer. And A and B, A and C is a pairs of diastromers.
for compound B, again we draw all the trans isomers and the cis isomer. When we draw the cis isomer, they have identical isomers. And when we draw also the trans isomer, we could see that they are actually identical to each other. Why? Because when we rotate this, there is mirror images and we flip, we can see that actually is similar compound. So A and B is a pair of diastromers and mesal compound is A and B. So A and B here is a, a diastromers because they have similar configuration here and a mesal compound is A and B because we could have a plane of symmetry here at the middle of the compound. So you have to cut through at the planar of the cyclohexane here. Well, for this one, we can just simply put a, a plane of symmetry in the middle of the compound. So for C, again you draw the cis and trans isomer. So for the cis isomers, because we have two different functional groups here, so we do not have any mesal compound for this structure. So, but we have a pair of enantiomer for A and B, and also for C and D. And pairs of diastromers is between A and C, A and D, B and C, and also B and D. As a summary, stereoisomers are isomers that differ only in the way atoms are orientated in space. They have the same functional groups and the same IOPAC name, except for the prefix such as cis and trans. And enchomer are stereoisomers that are non superimposable mirror image of each other, while diastromers are stereoisomers that are not mirror images of each other. A mesal compound, on the other hand, is an archival compound with two or more chirality centers. So this is the reference. If you have any question, feel free to contact me at my email address. And thank you for listening.